using foundation, we'll even out the skin tone for a flawless canvas for our retro glam look. To get gorgeous, flawless skin, we're going to start with the Sabella Foundation Primer. Apply this all over your face, including your eyelids, and blend in. Foundation Primer is a clear gel that fills in fine lines and wrinkles and smooths away imperfections as it moisturizes your skin. It also helps your foundation cover better and last longer. Give it a minute to absorb and set before applying your foundation. We're going to use Sabella Liquid Foundation on Mari. The liquid foundation gives you medium coverage that disguises most blemishes and discoloration while giving a soft, smooth finish. Using the Sabella Foundation brush, apply foundation starting at the nose and mouth and sweep it outward, blending it really well. You don't want to have a line around your face. Make sure to get foundation on your eyelids as well. This will help your eye makeup last. Next, spot treat any blemishes with Sabella Concealer. Tap the concealer underneath your eyes, around your nose, and on any blemishes. Blend the concealer with your ring finger. It's the weakest finger, so you're not going to pull and damage skin. Now let's set the foundation with Sabella Loose Powder. Tap the powder into the lid of the container, get it on your brush, and tap off any excess. Dust the powder all over your face, paying particular attention to your T-zone, your forehead, nose, and chin. Now we are ready for blush. Using your Sabella Blush Brush, apply your blush onto the apples of your cheeks. If you need help finding the apples, just smile. You want to apply blush to the fleshy part right here. Softly pull the color up toward your temples in a semicircle, staying below the top of your eye. Just blend the color in. You don't want any rigid lines, just that look of fresh, flushed cheeks. Now we'll give Mari a glamorous eye. We're going to use two Sabella eyeshadow colors, a base and a highlighter. Your base should be a color that is fairly close to your skin tone, nothing significantly darker or lighter. We're using Pecan on Mari. Using the Sabella eyeshadow brush, sweep the color from your lash line up to your brow bone. Now we'll use our highlighter. Your highlight color should be light and can even be shimmery if you'd like. This color is Buttercup. Sweep a little bit on your brow bone beneath your eyebrow with your eyeshadow brush. And take a little bit and tap it right in the corner of your eye at your tear duct. The Retro Glam look calls for a defined brow with a strong arch. Fill in your brows with a Sabella Definition Brow Pencil. Use short, feathery strokes and add a little more color than you normally would. Soften and shape your brows with a few sweeps of the Sabella Brow Brush. And now for the eyeliner. Black liquid eyeliner really defines this look. Many women are afraid to use liquid eyeliner. It's not as hard as it looks, but it may take a little practice. A trick is to put some black Sabella Intense Liquid Liner on the back of your hand like this and use the Sabella Eyeliner Brush. Rather than drawing a thick, solid line, just draw small dashes along your upper lash line. This gives you more control and is much easier. When you are applying liquid liner at home, try resting your elbows on your bathroom counter to steady your hand. Take it beyond your eye just a bit and create a wing shape that ends in a pointed tip. Carefully bring the color all the way to the inner corner of your eye. Just take your time and start with small movements that you can build upon. We're leaving the bottom lid bare, so we're done. Finish your eye with a few sweeps of Sabella Volumizing Mascara on the upper lashes only. Wiggle the wand at the base and pull it through. Go for two or three coats for dramatic, voluminous lashes. On to the lips. Because this eye is very simplistic, you can pair it with a bold lip. It's also dramatic enough that you can use a more natural shade of lip color but I'm going to go ahead and give Mari a dramatic red pout for ultra glamour. Start with a Sabella Definition Lip Pencil. Since we're going with a dark lip color, match your lip liner to the color of your lipstick. 
This lip liner is cranberry from Sabella. Trace the edge of the lip. For staying power, use the side of the liner to color in your entire lips. We're going to apply Sabella lip treatment right on top of the lip liner. Normally, this lip treatment goes directly onto your lips to moisturize and nourish, but it also works as a great foundation for lip color. It's going to give us a soft luster, but it won't have that really reflective shine of a gloss. Using your lip brush, paint on your Sabella lip color. The color on Mari is Sienna. Begin at the inside of your lips and pull the color outward. Using a lip brush does two things for you. First, you get a more precise, even application, which is really important for dark, dramatic lips. And secondly, your lip color will last longer. Here is the finished look. You can use a more natural looking lip color and use this as a day look, but because the eye is so simple, it's the perfect look to enjoy the drama of a bold, dark lip.